Hello YouTube, today we will talk about someone a lot of people for some reason forget. The Forgotten Hero. <laughs> you get it? Forgotten Hero? Forget? Ah, oh, never mind. Anyway, without further puns, let's kick off with the video. Today we will talk a little bit about the Forgotten Hero, a hero that isn't mentioned in any of the games other than his own game, the latest Elder Scrolls game, or spin-off, the Elder Scrolls Legends. There he is the player character and of course the protagonist. Because this is a game not many conventional Elder Scrolls fans will play, I decided to make a video of him, so let's just start at the beginning so we're all at the same page. Just like in every Elder Scrolls protagonist, he is imprisoned at the start of the game. And in his imprisonment he is thrown into a fighting pit by a Daedra named Reeve. The forgotten hero is then picked to fight against a Nord named Tyr. Tyr however wants to work together with the forgotten hero, to escape from their captors and then they escape together. The forgotten hero discovers that Tyr is one of the Blades agents, the organization that at this time was still formally working for the Empire. The forgotten hero and Tyr find Reeve. Their captor. After slaying some Daedra cultists, they actually defeat him and then they escape. When they have defeated Reeve, he rambles a bit about Lord Narafin, the commander of the Altmeri armies that have invaded Cyrodiil by now, and how the Altmeri commander is actually planning to unleash a certain prophecy on the world, the Culling. Due to those words, they decide to consult a friend of Tyr, a sorceress named Laneth, since she is an expert on Daedra and her prophecies. But on their way to her, they get halted by bandits and have to fight their way through. After they defeat the bandits, there was one bandit left that begged for his life and promised him gold in exchange for his life. The forgotten hero is then confronted with the choice to either let him live or let him die. The choice is then for the player. The choice however has no actual influence on the storyline, so I'll just continue with the storyline. They then, in hopes of reaching the net, quickly travel again by the road, but quickly come to regret this decision, as they are being ambushed by guards from the Altmeri Dominion that were hunting a Blades member that had escaped their imprisonment with the exact description of Tyr. They of course kill the guards and continue their journey, now off the road as they have seen the dangers that are brought by the patrolling Dominion. But just like Murphy's Law says, anything that can go wrong will go wrong, and therefore they encounter some savage wolves in the wilderness, if it couldn't be any worse. After slaying them, only one was left alive, a young pup cowering beneath a nearby bush. The player then gets a choice, to either adopt the pup and let it grow into a faithful companion, or to abandon it in the wild. After a long journey, they finally reach Laneth's house, but they find that Laneth has been kidnapped by Daedra, and the house itself has been occupied by cultists. After fighting their way out, they find out that the Daedra had captured her with the purpose of using her to help to bring about the culling prophecy. They therefore brought her to the north. They then decide to secretly board a smuggler ship to chase the Daedra cultists to the north and once they are safely on board, they are of course found by the smugglers and a fight ensues between them. However, while fighting the smugglers, they get spotted by a Dominion patrol. They then decide to fight together against the common enemy. And the smugglers then allow them on board the ship and they go north towards Laneth. After an attack by pirates in the storm, the ship wrecks on the coast. And together with some of the smugglers who are now joined uh, with their party, they go and search for Laneth on the mainland. They eventually fi find her battling goblins that, that had already killed the Daedra cultists that had captured her. After killing the goblins, they learn from Laneth that the Deidre cult was actually led by Lord Narofin, the general of the Dominion, that by now had captured the Imperial City. And that he was planning to sacrifice all human inhabitants of the city to bring about the culling prophecy, a 
prophecy in which Cyrodiil would be fluted by Daedras to finally bring an end to the Empire. They then together decide to go and find the Imperial army that was in exile in Skyrim with their Emperor. They would warn the Emperor about Lord Narvin's evil plans once they had reached the, uh, the army that was actually preparing for an attack on Cyrodiil to take it back. On their way to the Imperial Legion however, they encounter some Imperial deserters that try to attack them, but they manage to put them down. And when the deserters lie dead, they encounter an old associate of Tyr, Legate Cassia, a female legend of the Imperial Army that was hunting the deserters. She welcomes him back and quickly brought him to the Emperor after him and Tyr told her what he knew. The Emperor was horrified by Lord Narifin's plan and decided they must at least try to retake the city. But deep down he knew that an attack on the Imperial city would actually be doomed, since in some mysterious way the Dominion had been able to predict every move the Empire had made so far, and thus he had already lost a lot of his forces and, he was, and the Imperial army was actually on its last legs. The hero then volunteered to inf infiltrate the Imperial city to find the source of this ability of Lord Nyrvin. The smugglers led the party, now strengthened, strengthened by Legate Cassia, through an old tunnel in the Imperial City that led right to, uh, to the White Gold Tower. They managed to read Lord Narifin's study, where they discovered the source of the Dominion's predicting powers, the Orb of Vermina. Lord Narifin had been using the Orb of Vermina to scry the Imperial Army's every move. While they steal the Orb, Lord Narifin actually enters the room. Again, everything that can go wrong will go wrong with the Forgotten Hero with Reeve and threatens to kill Tyr if the Forgotten Hero does not return the orb to him. Regardless of the choice made, the orb gets lifted out of Narvin's hands and Tyr supposedly dies. A fight then ensues between the servants of Lord Narvin and the Forgotten Hero. One of the servants car carries the sword of Boethia, Goldbrand. In the process, the hero managed to obtain Goldbrand from, uh, from one of the bodies and uh, as they retreat from the city. When they return to the Emperor, they find him being attacked by Dominion Assassins. The Forgotten Hero manages to defeat, to defeat the Assassins just in time to save the Emperor. The Emperor is saved, but in no condition to fight. Bare, barely able to walk, the Emperor decides that the Forgotten Hero shall well rear his armor and spearhead the assault, so the soldiers think the Emperor is still strong and morale stays high. And so it happened. Now with the element of surprise they took back the Imperial City under the strategic commands of the Emperor in the Battle of the Red Ring, just in time to prevent the culling. They managed to slay Nord Narvin and as I said prevent the culling. And the Forgotten Hero after this quietly left the city, supposedly for more adventures in other quest lines. But to history he was then forgotten. Well guys, I hope you liked the video. It was kind of short. I, want, I was thinking that it would at least be like 20 minutes, but it turned out, let's see, 8 minutes. Hmm. Again, if you liked the video, like, subscribe, uh, all that shit. Sure, join my Discord. Look at my last video, a very good video on the Mead Dynasty. You actually would want to see it. I, make, I made a reference to a future video that would be this video. <laughs> so do all those things and follow my Instagram, it's also in the description. I, mean, I recently made it and I'm planning to use it for like memes, video announcements and maybe giveaways later. So see if you can maybe do something with that. That said, I hope to see you in the next video, probably in a few days. I try to make more videos uh, in the coming days as I have some more time. Uh, because last week I actually uploaded three videos in three days, so that was more or less to make up for my vacation. And so, yeah, I um, hope you guys are looking forward to the videos to come because I have four videos planned for the coming two weeks. So, I hope that everything goes right and that I will, able to, uh, that I will be able to upload them. So, without further ado, I will see you in the next video.